Hello and welcome to Xbox Classics. In this installment, the game is Metal Slug 3, a game originally released by SNK for the Neo Geo in 2000. Metal Slug 3 is, um, continues the long-running Metal Slug series of super tough um, Contra-style arcade games. The Xbox release is um, not only just the, um, the standard arcade version, but also offers a whole number of additional features that makes it actually more desirable than the Neo Geo original. So let's play some of this. Um, for one thing, you have a number of options here that you can select um, what level do you want to start on. Um, you can change, uh, you can you know repeat uh, certain sections of the game as, as much as you want. And one thing you can do is adjust the difficulty and um, the number of lies you have. As Metal Slug, like Contra, is super tough, I'm actually going to play it on easy because I am not good at these kind of games. Alright, so here we go. Um, arcade. Okay. So, in Metal Slug 3, you have four players to choose from. Marco, Eri, uh, Tarma, and Theo. But I always like to play as Theo because... Glasses. Mission one, start. Like most Neo Geo games, um, Metal Slug 3 is incredibly good looking, and it uses this to its advantage of creating incredibly well animated sprites. As the Xbox can run circles around the Neo Geo, um, it has no problem running this game at full speed and in full resolution. However, this game is not playable on the final, revo final revision of the Xbox hardware. Um, and that's because the, original, the final revision of the Xbox hardware uses a different video encoder that not all third-party, early third-party um, Xbox games support, um, for 480p anyway. You can play it in like SD resolutions, but if you want to be, you know, enjoying the game in anything close to HD, you need an earlier Xbox. This Xbox I'm using here is the Xbox 1.3 uh, from 2003, and it has no problem running um, Metal Slug 3 in um, 480p. One of the things that separates Metal Slug from um, things like Contra is the fact that you have the ability to control these vehicles, um, which is where the series gets its name from. The Metal Slug is actually a tank in the Metal Slug universe. As this was originally an arcade game um, for the Neo Geo, the controls are very simple. You use the D-pad or the analog stick to move around, um, and you simply press the X button to fire. The B button allows, or the A button allows you to jump. And another thing that separates um, the game from um, Whoops, I died. <laughs> Another thing that separates the game from Metal Slug is the ability to um, select the path that you take. Whoops. The game is linear, but allows you to, you know, select the the paths that you take to get through the, the game, not everything is so sim so, so sim uh, straightforward as the original Metal Slug was. The weapons are a lot of fun to use. Even though the game doesn't make a whole lot of sense, it's just fun to play.
Of course, at the end of every stage are ridiculous boss fights. years there have been a total of seven Metal Slug games. Actually more than that, but ten in, or seven in, in the main series. They're always so beautiful and so much fun to play that um, it's hard to argue with any of them. But personally I think Metal Slug 3 might be my favorite Metal Slug game. I just like how imaginative it is. The zombie forms are a lot of fun. Anyway, that'll about do it for this video, so thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, uh, let me know, and once again, I'll see you next time.